How do I organize my content in Social Bee? What exactly is a content category? Watch this video to learn more about categories and how they work in your Social Bee account. So what exactly is a content category? You can think of it as a folder for your posts or a way to organize your content based on your content pillars, types of content, days of the week, or any other way that you want to categorize your content. But before we dive into the details, let's talk about the two main ways to add more content into your social B account. Number one, add your posts without a category when you just want to share them once and done. This means your posts need to be scheduled at a specific time or get shared immediately. Number two, use categories when you want to create a content mix, share evergreen content, or if you just like the idea of having folders for your different content types. To manage your categories, click on the content menu on the left-hand side of your screen and the categories tab will open by default. Here you'll see the two systems we talked about content without a category for your queue based system where every post has a specific posting time and the category based system where you see all of your categories. There are some preset categories you'll find in your account when you first start working with Social B. These are based on the type of content that you should have in your content mix. You can also generate categories by using our Copilot assistant. After answering a few questions, and selecting the profiles you want to focus on, your Copilot Assistant will suggest categories for you to use in your content strategy. After that, the Copilot will also suggest posting times and actual post ideas, but we'll talk about those separately. You can also create your categories from scratch by clicking on the Create Category button at the top right corner of your screen. When you create your category, you can name it add a description, color coded, and so much more. Set up your category defaults by going to the default settings tab. The posts inside a category are shown in a list and published in a top to bottom order. So you can choose whether you want your posts added to the top of your category list or to the bottom. You can also choose whether this category is used in a random category time slot. And if you're sharing evergreen content, make sure you enable requeue after posting. With this feature enabled, once we get to the bottom of the queue, we jump back to the top again. If you're looking for some more advanced settings, you can add a short link or UTM options into the URL settings tab. And if you're wondering what UTM parameters are exactly, they are a way for you to track traffic coming from your social media or any other sources by adding some specific metrics into your link. For instance, you can tag your links with the social platform you're sharing them on. That way, you can measure which social platform brings back more traffic to your website. Or you can add specific sources you might need to use as well. Other metrics that you can track include campaign data, so you can name each campaign differently and figure out which one is the most effective for you. Or you can use UTM Medium in order to distinguish between the link from your stories and the link from your Facebook post. You also have other options to use at your discretion. Typically, when you use UTM parameters, the link gets a little bit longer. To hide that, marketers tend to use a short link domain to make it pretty again. And you can set that one up directly from your category settings. If you have a default short link set up from your settings, it'll show up here. You can just toggle off the default short link and choose one of the options that you have available based on the integrations that you've connected already. The changes you make to these category settings only reflect moving forward, so keep that in mind if you're editing a category that already has posts inside. When you're happy with your settings, click on Create Category to wrap things up. You'll always be able to edit your categories by clicking on the Edit Category button. If you want to see what's inside the category, simply click on View Posts or anywhere on the category to see what's inside. Inside the categories, posts can have one of two values, share once or requeue. You'll be able to tell the difference by looking for the requeue label on the posts that are getting requeued. Share once posts do not have such a label. However, if the category is set to requeue, 
entirely, most posts in the category will recue. You can control which categories are publishing content and which are paused by the toggle on each category. Paused categories will not publish any content, whereas active categories will only publish content when they are scheduled. Use the bulk editor to edit multiple posts at the same time. Using this feature, you can select multiple posts from the actions button. You can add or remove social profiles, mark them approved or unapproved, meaning draft posts, delete posts or move them to a different category. Keep in mind that depending on the volume of posts you're editing, it might take a few minutes for it to take effect. To get notified when the edit is successful, go to your settings under Edit Profile and make sure you enable Email Me when the bulk edit is complete. That way, you'll receive an email every single time you're editing something in bulk. Once you've created and set up all of your categories, go ahead and add content into your categories and then set the schedule up in your schedule setup. You can look at our scheduling video to learn more about how you can do this. If you have any issues with your categories or any other Social Bee feature, feel free to reach out to us at success at socialbee.com.